What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to be working on installing our Holly Terminator X ECU, as well as working on um, a whole bunch of miscellaneous wiring. You know, we need to wire in some fans, we need to wire in our fuel pump, um, we need to get the starter wired up, and you know, we're going to see how it goes. I don't really have a plan, but the Holly, the Holly system comes with a nice instruction manual, so we're going to follow that and everything else I think we're just gonna make up. Stay tuned. In the last video we left off working and finishing up our fuel system and so I showed this little fitting and it's just gonna be uh, where we put our electronic fuel pressure sensor um, this works with the holly system supposedly and it reads um, 0 to 100 psi with an output at 0 of 0.5 volts and at 100 psi it's four and a half volts um, i opted not to go with the actual dedicated holly sensor just because i wanted to give this one a shot first um, it is half the price maybe even more um, so, I mean, if it doesn't read properly, I'll, I'll go ahead and actually use, um, a Holly sending unit, but for now we're going to give this a shot and fingers crossed. Now you can see I got the coil packs mounted to the valve cover. Um, they're pretty hideous. So after we get this car running and recoup some of the investment and funds that we've put into it. <laughs> I think we'll do something different with them. Plus, I really like the MSD red coils, but you know, they're a little expensive. All right, so I have the wiring loom laid out to where everything should be going. And this is basically everything on the um, driver's side of the car. I'm gonna run that under my fuel lines. And on the outside of the fuel rail between I have my throttle position sensor here, and then I have my coolant temperature sensor, which tucks in back behind the alternator in the block right there. Pretty clean, nice little harness. So there's the driver's side. Oh, and I got to make sure I. So let me grab a bolt. This goes into the head. It's a ground. I got a knock sensor, I got my oil, and I got my cam. So those are right in the back of the engine. Then I got, what's this guy? Crank sensor that's down. Ooh, might have to get under the car for that one. That's down next to the starter. I got the even ignition bank. And I got the map sensor. The map, I'm not going to be running. Um, I'm going to be running a vacuum line out of the intake to, to the Holly system. This is my injector harness, which is right here. I can run this, I believe I can run this through the center of the intake. Got our injectors wired up. Let's see if you can get in there and see it. All the injectors are wired up to this big plug in the back. This here is the vacuum tube that I'm running for as the map. Quick little update, I have all the plugs in um, now and I just need to button up this loose wiring. Um, I think this just goes battery power, this goes to the fuel pump relay and um, Blue-white is the TAC output, and I'm not doing the TAC output yet, but I'll wire it into the car. I also need, I, this is to the O2 sensor, um, and I need to figure out a neat way to kind of tidy this up because it's extra long. I want to keep it off the headers as well, so. Um, that's what I'm working on now, and I think I'm going to try to figure out how to wire in the fuel pump 
Um, I don't know if I'm going to try to find the pin from the um, ECU that powers it in the fuse box or if I'll just wire in a new relay and run a new wire. I think I'll probably go that route. It's just a little simpler and then I know what relay um, and where it's located and put it in the spot that I want to want it to be. So I'll work on that and I'll give you another update soon. This is my switch 12 volt to the Holly system. And I'm just going to put it onto a switch. I may end up changing it out if I find cooler switches online, but this is the uh, permanent 12 to that switch. So I got to wire that in, maybe drill a hole here or something. I don't know. And then down here, that green wire is um, the trigger wire for the fuel pump relay. And I have a five pin that I'll use as four pin relay for the fuel pump. And moving over here, I have, this is for the trigger wire and this is the permanent power for the uh, fuel pump, which will be fed behind the trim. And it comes up here and I can tap into the power wire, either just push it through wire it in under there or I probably just wired it in right here and I think I'll put that relay right here so I'll bring you back when I have a little more progress and I'll show you what I got here's a quick update on our fuel pump wiring I have um, 12 volt full time 12 volt trigger ground and um, 12 volt to the pump through this relay so fingers crossed that works. I guess we'll know real quick when we don't hear it turn on. <laughs> you can see over here a wiring nightmare, but the ECU is all plugged in. Just need to get our um, vacuum line plugged in and it should be good to go. I'm probably gonna button this up um, after I know the car runs and there's no electrical problems. It's much later in the day. And I think this will be the final check-in for this video. Um, this right here is my um, all the power needed for the uh, Holly system and the fuel pump. This is also for the Holly system. So I believe everything Holly-wise is plugged in. Everything engine-wise is plugged in. Um, and then. I ended up just leaving a mess in the passenger side floor for now. I think I'll leave it wide open like this. You got see everything's plugged in except for I gotta run to Napa and pick up some vacuum line. But I think as far as everything goes, I got my switch here, which I'll probably drill out, put right here, and then I'll probably just put a push button start right here, and then the key will. Uh, do all of, like radio and headlights and stuff, but theoretically, well, actually, I shouldn't say that. I need to plug the ground into the battery terminal. All right, theoretically, when I flip that switch, we should have some action. So, I can't grip it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I totally forgot about the fuel system priming. Oh, crap. Yeah. Classic. I took both those off because I was trying to wire and they were in the way. So that just primed all over the place. <laughs> um, what I can do is I can unplug, I can unplug the fuel system for a second. Just unplug the trigger wire so it doesn't prime so we can, well that's good news. So there we go. Switch is on. We got lights on the Terminator X ECU. And we got power. 
Holy cow. What a long day's worth of work. That is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. I think I'll build a bezel or something and mount this like this. Maybe I'll buy a 3D printer and see what I can do with that. Who knows? Awesome. All right, that's a wrap on today's video. It was another long day. And I think, as you saw in the last clip, we had great success. Um, you also saw I sprayed fuel all over the place, and it reeks right now. So, um, that is good news, though, because I was worried that um, our Walbro 485 pump may or may not work. And it obviously does work. Um, if you didn't see the video where we put that pump into the stock fuel pump housing, um, take a look. You can see that in... Uh, as one of the previous videos, um, you saw the Terminator X lit up and the touchscreen works and um, I'm really happy with the outcome. So as always, if you like the video, leave it a big thumbs up and if you like the build, hit that subscribe button. Um, any questions you have, any comments, positive or negative, leave it down below and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.